the enshittification of gaming continues, now with pop-up ads, courtesy of Ubisoft. This clip was posted on Twitter a couple of days ago, where, well, let's just see what happens. So what happened there was, the player opened up the map, and before actually seeing the map overview, a pop-up ad appeared for the latest Assassin's Creed game. This was in, I believe, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, which came out a couple years ago, and the ad was for the latest Assassin's Creed Mirage, with a Black Friday 20% off sale. Now, Ubisoft have responded to this. They're saying that the ads are the result of a technical error. And a few users on Reddit are saying that similar pop-ups appeared in Assassin's Creed Origins and Valhalla as well. So this isn't just a technical error that's limited to one game, but apparently a technical error that exists in multiple games. Which I guess shouldn't be surprising. Uh, Ubisoft probably reuses the engine uh, for multiple games. I don't expect they're making each one from scratch. But still, this is a problem that was fairly widespread. So, stuff like this happening isn't exactly new. 2K actually tried it uh, in NBA 2019. So they had these kind of unskippable ads on loading screens, where basically, when a game would start, you would see an ad that would appear similarly to how it would appear on TV, which I guess adds to the realism. That's how they would justify it. But let's be honest, an unskippable ad in a $60 full price game is just something that shouldn't be acceptable. Now, Ubisoft has responded to this on Twitter with this statement. We have been made aware that some players encountered a pop-up message in-game while playing certain Assassin's Creed titles yesterday. This was the result of a technical error that has now been fixed. Our intention was to display a promotion for Assassin's Creed Mirage as part of the franchise news in the main menu of other Assassin's Creed games. Unfortunately, this technical error caused the promotion to appear in one of our in-game menus instead. We want to ensure the best player experience possible, and these disruptive pop-ups were promptly removed once we learned of the issue. We appreciate your understanding as we investigate the cause of the issue. To me, that seems a little bit suspicious, so I can see why they'd want to put ads for their other games in the main menu. Like, I don't think that's a great practice, but you know what? If it's unobtrusive, the main menu realistically has a lot of empty space that most of the time isn't really used for anything, so okay, there, fair enough, I can see the argument. But really, you're telling me that this was some kind of technical fault? Now, I don't know exactly how their code works, but to me it seems a little bit suspicious calling this a technical issue. I think the technical issue is that this feature, quote-unquote, was actually turned on, right? The issue wasn't the fact that someone added the code for making pop-up ads in-game, but no, the issue was that they accidentally turned it on before seemingly doing the research and figuring out that people really don't want this. Right, it's not like this pop-up ads feature was accidentally added to the game, right? Unless your code is a bigger pile of spaghetti than an all-you-can-eat at Olive Garden, you're not just gonna randomly have UI elements appearing as pop-ups that really should be somewhere else, right? Like, that code had to have been added intentionally. And the unintentional thing that triggered this problem, that users are reporting, is that someone flipped a switch that actually turned the feature on. So that, to me, shows that Ubisoft clearly had intentions for pop-up ads for a long time, right? Because it's present across multiple games. It's just that the executives or the marketing team didn't think that the gaming public was ready for that, and so they had the switch disabled, but the code was in there so they could just turn it on whenever they felt like it. They thought they could get away with it, but judging by the results of this accident and the backlash that they've received, it seems like they might have overestimated players' willingness to endure this kind of bullshit. Which, to be honest, is a good thing. Players should be angry at this. This is not something that we should just accept in full-price games, 
right? This isn't some free-to-play mobile game that needs some way to monetize it. This is a game that you paid full price for, and honestly, it's just unacceptable to have that kind of ad. And we should be pushing back against this. Now, to be clear, I'm talking about pushing back against the company and perhaps the executives. I'm not blaming the developers for this, right? It's not like they had a choice of whether or not to implement this. Some higher up told them, implement this, and, you know, if you refuse, you'll be looking for a new job pretty quickly. But this really is just another example of games becoming shittier and shittier, at least the games that are published by AAA companies, so... Maybe show indie games some love. It seems like at least they're not pulling this kind of crap yet.